What's good with the family? How y'all doing? This is Maury Matthews, owner and operator of Minister Steel Dawn Productions and author of the new book, Dream No More, Rise of a Lion. Dream No More, Rise of a Lion is an epic sci-fi fantasy novel that is first in its series. It, uh, it is featured in a uh, scripted, simplified scripted format. And it follows the story of a young boy named Lyon who is on a quest to save his family from the captivity of an all-powerful sorceress. Uh, you can purchase this book right now on Amazon.com in paperback and ebook version. Okay? And, uh, you know, per please show your love, some support. I really appreciate this. Purchase this book right now to join Lyon, Lisa, and Dior on their quest. Uh, to help Lyon in his uh, journey for the future. So, thank you. I appreciate the love and support, fam. All right. So, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this topic because I wanted to talk about one of the characters for Dream the More Rise of a Lion. Uh, his name is Dior. Now, Dior Kendrick is the, uh, he is the father of the host family that takes Lyon in uh, once they find him injured and nurses him back to health. Uh, Dior is the type of character, let's see, okay, so his occupation is an explorer, okay? So he's an explorer for a nation state named uh, the Federal Union, who, uh, who is, a, is a growing nation state and who is, you know, currently on a, a, on a conquest to you know, expand their territory uh, throughout the region. Um, explorers, explorers in the uh, in the Federal Union are uh, you know there's an explorer guild. So there's a lot of different uh, you know different you know factions within the guild itself or whatnot. And Dior is, is he is the famous explorer. He's one of the most, if not the most, uh, famous explorer within the nation state of the Federal Union. So what makes him so famous? Well, Dior, uh, before he was an explorer, he actually was a part of a, of a military operation uh, where he was not only one of the, uh, one of the recon uh, team members, but he was also an assassin. And uh, Dior was... He, uh, he, on that battlefield, he was ruthless, okay? Like, there was nowhere he could infiltrate. There was no, you know, target that he couldn't hit. You know, Dior was that, he, he, was, he was that good, all right? He was that good on the battlefield. And uh, everybody in the Federal Union, you know, when uh, during this time, everybody in the Federal Union was, uh, you know, just amazed by his ability. And... Uh, that essentially, you know, started the groundwork that that sort of introduced Dior to the Federal Union. So, once Dior got a little older in age, he settled down with his uh, with his wife right now. Uh, that who is uh, let's see, she is the uh, the Surgeon General of the Federal Union's uh, main forces. So, you know, her name. Her name is uh, Jill, so Jill Kendrick, and uh, you know Jill and uh, Dior. Once they, uh, you know, once they settled down, they adopted children. So, um, and during their time in the Federal Union, they they just excel beyond, you know, uh, beyond anything any any other person in the Federal Union uh, in their you know respected fields, respective fields. So Dior is, you know, he has army, you know, some experience in the army, you know, main forces. He's an explorer. And there's a, a really specific reason he did not, you know, sort of go down that path when it comes to exploring more of, you know, uh, being more in the military as far as just being a part of just being an explorer. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to spoil it too much. You'll have to read more into that. To see why Dior decided to go the route he went in life. Um, so, Dior and Lisa, 
Uh, he normally takes Lisa, uh, you know, on his explorations as of late in order to sort of pass down knowledge and skills to her. Well, in one of their explorations, they actually uh, find, find Lyon in the middle of the wilderness, you know, it's like injured and alone. So they take him, bring him back to their uh, military grade house where Jill was waiting for them. They nurse him back to health. And once he, once Lyon is nursed back to health, they, they find out that Lyon is from a nation state that is literally on the other side of the continent that they're on. Now, they have no idea how this young kid got from there to here. You know what I'm saying? And so once they find that out, then the next day they find out that his parents, Lyon's parents, is actually captured by uh, this all-powerful sorceress. And now, you know, they, they, they're they understanding the, the sort of context that Lyon exists within. He, he is determined to get his family back. But they know that if he wants, if he's going to have any chance of doing that, you know, gauging the amount of ability that this sorceress has... He's going to need all the help he can get. Training, you know, uh, all kinds of training, really. So with that being said, that's sort of how the story plays out. Dior decides to help Lyon. And he's going to retrace their steps back to where they found Lyon. And at the same time, he's going to teach him skills, you know, uh, the skills he needs in order to you know, brave uh, through the journey that he wishes to take, okay? Now, Dior himself, Dior is an, um, his personality, man, he, he's the type of character that, that's very well-rounded. He's a well-rounded character, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, what do I mean by that? He, he's just, you know, he's the type of person that could really adapt to situations, uh, or, or, you know, just like that, on demand, you know, he clicked. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, at one one time, you know, he's able to hold a, you know, hold a real humorous conversation with people, you know, uh, get their guard down, you know, be be kind and jerk, courteous. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, next moment, he's in that teacher mode where, you know, he can teach, you know, he teach skills to Lisa and, you know, all other people. Then at another moment, you know, he, he could be talking to a... a you know, a general within the military, and he's very formal, you know, he, he's very respectful, that type of thing, and at another moment, you know, he's in command, you know, he's in command, and he, he can, uh, you know, be, uh, be very commanding and authoritative, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, he's sort of a jack-of-all-trades type character. Now, as you're reading the book, you'll notice that Dior he seems to be affiliated with this other sort of um, military outfit that's not, or clan, a uh, shadow group that's not really, um, you know, there's details are really uh, scarce about them, you know. And as the book goes along, you'll see him being affiliated with that. So, you know, you, you come to find out that he's actually one of the heads of this group. And uh, I'm not going to give too much away. Just know that, you know, Dior has a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of hidden, you know, uh, secrets and, and things that he, you know, obviously he's not telling for, um, you know, for purposes of the book itself. But, you know, he, he is a very, very well-trained, well-skilled character. Now, you know, when it comes to his fighting capabilities... Uh, his fighting capabilities within the story itself is not really, um, you know, I don't, I don't really, I don't like to show it, you know, show it off too much due to the fact that I want to keep some, you know, some uh, room uh, for the future as far as his fighting capability goes. But Dior is well beyond what is being, you know, uh, well beyond what it, what is being established within the. Um, you know, within the context of this particular book. So, you know, uh, the the fighting capabilities that he show you, you know, obviously he's hiding some of that. You know what I'm saying? So this dude is strong as heck. All right. He, he's a really strong character. 
And he, he, during the story, he gives you almost that Superman vibe, you know what I'm saying? Where there's almost no challenge he can't meet, you know, there's almost no challenge that he can't overcome, that type of vibe, right? And, you know, I did that on purpose because the thing about it is, you know, the, the character relationship between Dior and the children in the, in the uh, family, you know, especially Lisa, um, you know, Lisa looks up to Dior like, like Superman, but that's her father. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, like my father is this strong, you know, uh, this strong, skilled, well-trained person. He, he, he can be very, uh, you know, very, uh, he could be a disciplinary, he could be a, a, a teacher, you know, he can, he's very loving and kind and he, he cares and he knows about this. You know, he could be a very uh, funny and humorous character and he could be very informative. Like he, he, he is like the, um, you know, he, he is like the protector, the provider and the type of, uh, the type of, uh, you know, black, you know, authoritative black male figure that, uh, you know, that this young, this young black girl is looking up to in her life and, and is proud to say that that's my dad, that's my father, you know what I'm saying? So that's a very, very powerful, you know, uh, is a very, very powerful display in the book. And not, not to mention the interactions between, uh, Dior and Jill, both are black, uh, characters and they're both heads of this family. And, uh, you know, Jill being the mother of the family, Dior being the father of the family. And their dynamics is, is, is very, you know, very intertwined as well. Jill being the, you know, uh, a military official of top ac accolades. And uh, she's able to maneuver in ways that Dior cannot be, due to the fact that, uh, you know, that, Dior is not in a position that he's in. However, he's still a very famous explorer, a very famous fighter. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, know his name, but they just don't know his capabilities. And, you know, you'll get more into that in the future when you're reading the book. But man, when I, when I, when I say like writing Dior character was very fun and very fulfilling to me as a black man myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I wanted to show a character that, that, you know, that takes, you know, responsibility, power, you know, the, the ability to defend and provide for your family. I, I wanted to take that not only serious, but I wanted to take that to a whole nother level where, you know, we're in that realm of epic, you know, of... of of epic representation where you got like a Hercules type character doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, he he's very relatable. And that's what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? So I think I did a great job at that with Dior, man. He, he's an amazing character. And I really hope you guys enjoy reading the book and uh, really enjoying uh, Dior's character too. All right, man. I'm Mario Matthews. I'm the owner operator of Minister Till Dawn Productions. Please like, please share, please subscribe. You know, and I hope to read I hope to uh holler at y'all later, man. We're gonna get in more topics, more conversation. Love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Everlast.